Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today it is 10 o'clock. We are at a Friday. Um, we are in Sunbury, Pennsylvania at the American Rescue Workers. Um, it's the day before their 50% off sale, so I am not holding out hope. A lot of times it's overstock, it's stuff they've got to get rid of. And a lot of thrift stores, I'm not saying this is the case specifically here at American Rescue Workers because I haven't even gone inside, so I don't know. But a lot of times they will reserve a new merchandise, um, things that are of greater value typically. Um, they'll kind of hold on to those things and have the sales and means to clear things out to get an influx of new things. But you never know. So we're still going to try and uh, let's see how it goes. There is a local antique mall here. Um, so I'm probably going to put both of those, this one and the antique mall, uh, in the same video. So let's do it. It is a larger thrift store. You can see the sign there, kind of, sort of, 50% off everything Saturday. That ain't working for us. I love the fact that they open at 9 a.m. It's really nice. Here we go. Again, larger, mostly clothes. Hard goods are going to go around the perimeter. So we'll see what we can find here. To merch, a little picked over. It's to be expected. Today is actually good at Friday. So <sighs> we've got some Barbies there, but not the kind that we would go for. Bisque babies, again, contemporary. Not what we're on the hunt for. That's interesting. Spray painted Ellie Smith Moon and Stars. Hmm. We do have some 80s furniture here, though. Oh, somebody, looks like somebody started a project but didn't quite finish it. Um, that little love seat there, that's a whole different kind of cottage core. Oh lord, the tiled dining room table. We just need the blue ribbon geese to go with that one. Here's an old dirty cabbage patch. I'm gonna check and see where she was made. Oh, I can't really make it out. Manufactured Appalachian. All right, let's check and see if she still has her tag. Hold on. Made in China, not what we're going for. Look, this clearly would have been with that green tile table. There they are. This is about the extent of their vases. A lot of uh, florist vases disposable, if you will, in quotes. Um, you know, just not the stuff that we're looking for, unfortunately. So we do have some Boyd's. I will look for the Boyd's bears. There is still desirability, especially the very small ones. I don't see any that are very small, unfortunately. There are baskets, and I am with that little one. I'm convinced I'm somehow gonna find. This is about the size that I am looking for, the little butt baskets. Richard's helped teach me what to keep my eye out for. That separation isn't very, it's not good. But no tiny, no tiny ones. There's even more. Okay, so bottom line, nah. American Rescue Workers, the thrift store, didn't have anything for us. It is what it is, and you don't know until you try. Um, so we are here at Sunbury Station. We're going to get inside, check it out. I've been here before. You've hopefully been here with me before, but if not, I want to show you the exterior of this beautiful, preserved, and restored uh, train station. It's, it's a relatively small one, but it's got a great presence to it. Let me show you that first. That... Isn't that beautiful? I mean, just can't you see it? You know, literally right there are the railroad tracks and this is a functional railroad track. And of course we have the original brick sidewalk to it. I mean, how beautiful architecturally is that? <sighs> All right, let's get inside, see what we've got. 
They said they've added new stuff. Start right here in the front. There's folks at the register, so I don't want to... But they've got vintage threads. Creeper. We're going to check out some display kit. Ooh, look at that. I like that. Really different. Great Art Deco look to it. Is it a dragon? Is it a swan? The swagon? I don't know. I can't see how much it is though. Oh my gosh, I love that Jack in the Box. It's from Mattel. Look at that. That's so fantastic. It's Blippy. Apparently the alien. I love the colors on that. Little toy. Okay, I didn't know if there was glass there or not. Like little cereal premiums. Love that. I'm a sucker. Yeesh. here but first you see the empire blow mold santa cookie jar i love this one. Ooh, and he's got his hat even 45 not bad on that and we've got bristol bohemian and hull ceramics and glass a little bit of the kitsch thrown in there what is this ferocious beast through here we do have a local coffee shop that has opened so that is pretty cool this thing's cool i don't like how that feels that soft silicone it's too squishy gargoyles love it here's another one of those little containers of creepers huge Star Wars sheets what is that who is that Ultron there's a lot to see in here <laughs> lots of little baggies of goodies and treasures you never know I love going through these things it's one of my favorites These are the dinosaur racers. Oh, those are good ones. That's five. Well, maybe not. No, those are hard plastic. Hmm. Little eggs. Rich. Very 90s. Vintage. Twenty-five, not bad. I don't think it's one of the very old ones though, given the graphic used on there. Mm. German candy. Love it. Nothing downstairs, so let's head upstairs. Do, 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 do. Yes, I see these. Oof, what happened? 
happened. Whatever happened there did not stay there, clearly. Oh, look at sad tigers. One more flight. This way, says Peter. And we've made it to the second floor. Let's check out over here first. <laughs> these are cute, these little wooden peoples. These are Russian. I love these. They're brightly colored, very vibrant. Look at that. Oh, he caught a fish. This guy over here with his parrot, little organ grinder. Look at her. She's the hostess with the mostest. These are interesting. Looks like they're a canister of some. Oh, Salvo, really? I like those. I can't tell how much they are though, $12. Hmm. There's your interior. That's interesting. You know what I've decided? I'm gonna go for two of these Salvo girls. We'll get her and her. Um, and at $12, I, I really like these. Am I in frame at all? I'm not paying attention. Let's get these two. Okay, we're gonna head in here. I know, it's fun, it's beautiful, if glass is your thing. Oh, but we do have some ceramic in here too, so. Um, let's check her out. Color-coded. I still love this. Look at that. The Empoli Apothecary is stunning. You know what? I gotta say, hold on quick. This one's actually my favorite, and it's only 30. That's an earlier one. Look at that pattern. It is molded, it's not cut. This has got a lot going on. It needs a bath, clearly. Does it, does it need a, oh, it just needs a little, little dusting. I mean, it's clear glass, but I think that's beautiful. She's elegant. Are we gonna get it? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna put that down here. Hmm. I'm looking for a pedestal milk glass swan vase for my aunt. Um, this one's at 38, which is not hateful, but I want to get her something a little bit more dynamic than this one. So I'm going to keep my eye out. Let's see, we're coming over into ceramic and pottery. Uh, we're going to jump back to some more glass. More glass. Does it have chips and flea bites? It's 28. Let's see. We're going to inspect. It does. Ah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've seen this one here before, and it does, if I'm remembering correctly. It does, yeah. So difficult to find those without chips. Oh, look at the crystalline vase. I love these. Look at that. Beautiful. No signature on it. So we're going to set that one back. You know, just because it's not signed doesn't mean it's not beautiful. 
Um, I'm just kind of me. That Colonial Blue Thumbprint 28. Let's see. Do, do, do. What's this little weirdo? Hmm. Danish Art 12. It's got a... I thought we had... Yeah, see, look. A version of Ellie Smith. Was that here? Where was this? Right here? Yeah, I think it was. Glass shelves always freak me out. And we're going to round it out, I guess, with some catchish. This one's fabulous. Look at that. Oh, I love the look of that bird. It almost has a predator bird feel. I'm not going to lie. China? Really? <laughs> okay. We're going to move on. We're literally just on a casual stroll. So I'm just going to take you guys pretty much along the entire way today. It's a chill day. I feel like I've had these before. There were souvenir pieces. Oh, this is a new vendor. Got a little of that primitive country vibe going. Violets in the snow. Still one of my favorites. I love that purple, that violet against the white milk glass. A little Rosbro glow in the dark. He's got the hook seven. Not bad. Those used to be super hot, and anymore they're just kind of like meh. People are like, I'm good with it. <laughs> uh, this is still here. That's one ten. This, these shelves are here, but it looks like it's completely different merchandise. Classic mid-century over here. This one's unusual. I like that. They have it listed as Westmoreland. It's kind of really art deco vibe down here at the bottom, but a swung. Oh, looks like some arranging's going on over there. Um, the jewels. What's going on over here? What is this one of those Mount St. Helens ash eggs? Sylvestri art glass egg. No, nothing for us here. Okay, what do we got going on over here? More contemporary. How much? 28. That's not bad. These are the McCoy, the floral vases. There's usually a condition issue. Mm. Not the biggest fan of this paint application. Looks like it's almost like a coloring book vibe to it. This one's a little bit better. The edging is uh, a little bit more drippy, if you will. 
20. Mm, we're going to hold off on it. One's impressive. Look at this Hager. That popcorn. Not my favorite look. It always reminds me of like cellulite, to be honest with you. <laughs> I said it. Just checking out the architecture of it all. They are just constantly moving stuff around. I love it. I don't recall this being here. I like that. Whenever you go into the antique mall, it's just always got a different vibe to it. Oh, look at the little artisan model here, the cat. $9. I've seen these as horses before. I might get that and add that into actually a choice sale. I think that would be pretty cool. See what else we can find. Y'all, you know, this one's pretty cool. I think it's content. Ew. Good health brand. It's like. <laughs> wow. Okay, Michael. This is what I was going for. Look at the expressions. Printed in Germany. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't work. It's thirty-two dollars. Bee boo, bee boo, nee noo, nee noo, nee noo. That is hilarious. The disgust. This chick has definitely got the crazy eyes, and the sun is just like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Well, this is interesting. They've got radium clocks verified with a Geiger meter. So a lot of times, so the earlier, let's see, oh, look, they've got the radioactive signs on it. I do have this. So the numbers, the faces, they would typically, yeah, see, there you go. Whoosh. The numbers, I think that full, almost that whole face. Yeah. The Rex, this one back here. I'm not seeing where that one is though. So you're gonna get it here. Heel, 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 and heel. That's a stunner. Look at that Vaseline bad boy. It's at 75. It's got enameling on it. I've never seen that one before. Let's take a closer look at it. If I can get my keys back in my pocket, y'all bear with me. Okay. It's got a Northwood vibe to it. Yikes. That's a bougie one. A opalescent. I'm not pretty. Got some stressors on it. Yeah, she's beginning to crack. She's beginning to crack. These are fun with these aluminum lids. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Was that 20? Yeah. The Jade I. Fridgy. 55 for the Fridgy. You know, all of this will glow. I guess I can... The Jada may or may not. It depends on who. Probably McKee on this one. Though we do have some chips on it. Oh yeah, that one does. Oh yeah, it does. Blue. Bloop, bloop. I'm most interested in this one because of the blue glow. And it's not a purple glow. It's a green glow. Oh, 
I'm gonna get that for seven dollars. You stop it. Yeah. Um, the newer ones will glow purple. Newer ones glow purple. Older ones glow green. So, still a cool effect regardless, but we definitely wanna go for that OG. Dagon heart, can you see the heart with the D in it? Love it. So we're coming back out here. We're gonna loop around this way. Oh, look at that malachite. Is it? No, it's ceramic. Not for the soaps. Contemporary, contemporary, yeah. I'm going to come down here. We have two more booze. One, two. Let's go over here first. I'm going to set my stuff down and then we'll pick it right back up. Okay, let's see what we go to. Hmm. Forty-five on our front, thirty-five. Can't see that marigold one. Oh, that's interesting. Sixty-five. No eyes, though. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna circle back, make sure I didn't miss anything. But otherwise, here's what we got. Okay, so I did get a last minute find. It is this porpoise wall shelf. Um, I think it's pretty amazing. And we got that for $28. This was at the register, hadn't been priced yet, I asked. So at $28 pretty excited about that guys well there you have today's shop with me video we tried the thrift store didn't work out here at Sunbury station we didn't find a lot but i think that the few things that we did find are pretty special i'm really glad we got that wall shelf that alone made the trip worth it um as always you guys down in the comments let me know what your favorite find or finds were of the day i know you don't have a lot to choose from but at least there's something or maybe the item or items you wished I had most picked up either works. You know that I would appreciate it. And as always, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.